Welcome to Teacher Mind. In this video, we are going to be finding the area of a major segment of a circle when the lengths of the radius and chord are given and the central angle is an obtuse angle. Let's begin. As you can see, I've written out a few things to help us get started. First of all, theta is the angle, the central angle, 120 degrees, and the radius is 15. I've also provided the length of the chord here. And just as a side note, this is actually a major segment because this arc is a major arc. We want to find the area of this shaded region. Well, the area of the shaded region is going to equal the area of the circle minus this unshaded segment. If we add in what we know about the area of a segment, the area of the shaded region will be the area of the circle minus the area of the sector minus the area of this triangle. Well, we're actually going to have to use Heron's formula in order to find the area of the triangle. We'll get to that in just a moment. So first off, let's go ahead and put in what we do know. The area of the circle is pi r squared minus the area of the sector is theta divided by 360 times pi r squared minus the area of the triangle. Now I'm just going to leave it for the moment as the area of the triangle. We're going to put that value in in a moment. But we got, we've got to figure out the area of that triangle. So we're going to use Heron's formula. And in Heron's formula, you notice there's an S. The S is referred to as the semi-perimeter, and it has a formula of A plus B plus C divided by 2. This is adding up the three sides and dividing by 2. So if we do that, we get 15 plus 15 plus 15 root 3 divided by 2, which is equal to 30 plus 15 root 3 divided by 2. If we type that in, we get 30 plus 15 root 3, and then divide that by 2, and we get t about 27.99. Now, in the formula, again, A, B, and C are the three sides. So if we use this S value and we come back over here to Heron's formula, we get, we'd get S, 27.99 times 27.99 minus 15 times 27.99 minus 15 times 27.99 minus 15 root 3. Well, 15 root 3 is 25.98. And all this is underneath our square root. So this becomes 27.99, 12.99, 12.99, and 2.01. Again, all under the square root. Now if I type that in, we get 27.99 times 12.99 times 12.99 times 2.01 and then I'm going to take the square root of that answer and it gives me about 97.43. So if I come back over here and start inputting everything into our original formula, I'm going to have pi times radius squared, which is 15 squared, minus theta, 120, divided by 360, times pi, times radius squared, minus, we're going to input this answer now of the area of the triangle, 97.43,
and this gives us 3.14 times 15 squared 706.5 120 times 3.14 times 15 squared divided by 360 is 235.5 minus 97.43 and so we're going to get about let's see what it gives us all together 706.5 minus open parentheses 235.5 minus 97.43 close parentheses we get 568.4 units squared and this is the area of this major segment of a circle Thanks for visiting Teacher Mind, where you can always discover something valuable.